Good morning. I just wanted to record a quick video to welcome you to the Take No Shit Building Better Boundaries workshop. So uh, over the weekend, somebody commented on one of my older writings and it reminded me why I do this. It reminded me why I feel boundaries are so critically important and why I am so glad that you are here with me to take this journey. So why do people do what they do? Like this is a question that people have been trying to figure out for centuries. Philosophers, sociologists, anthropologists, psychologists, and all the other ists <clears throat> have been trying to figure this out for millennia, right? It's, it's a favorite human pastime. Why did so-and-so and such-and-such -and -such do such horrible things to us that one time if we only knew why? But here's the thing. I can tell you why. It's easy. Self-interest. There you go. Do you feel better now? I'm guessing no. And that's the problem with why. <laughs> you may ask why. And you might get an answer, right? You might learn the truth. You might learn a lie. You might figure something out for yourself. But the bigger picture is that it doesn't change what happened or how it affected you. So I'm going to ask you for the course of this workshop, let's stop with the whys. Just bear with me here because we all, we all know our own whys. Well, <laughs> All we can know is our own whys. And even then, we're pretty likely to get things wrong because we don't really know why our brain does what it does, um, but we're really, really good at finding justifications for all of it, even when what it's doing is because of something that we're not willing to admit yet, right? So let's shift our focus of attention. And this is a huge part of boundary work, right? Let's shift our focus of attention from this nebulous why, this intent of others, to instead the effects of their behavior, the effects of your behavior. And Focus on that, right? Because if someone hurts you over and over and over again in a friendship or a relationship, does it matter that they mean well if it's hurting you, if it's tearing you apart? There's, there's definitely satisfaction in knowing they didn't intend to hurt you, right? But if you ask them to stop and they don't, that isn't really any comfort, is it? You're still damaged and they're still continuing their behaviors. And honestly, when it comes right down to it, how well can they mean if they refuse to hear you or stop the actions that are harming you. Really. And worse, worse when you make up the whys, right? Oh, so-and-so must have thought this because that's why they left or that's why they didn't communicate or, you know, they uh, don't have a good relationship with their mother. So mm, that's probably why this happened. Or 
You know what that is? That's mental masturbation. They must have thought this way. It's masturbation, right? It's your brain jerking itself off to make you feel better or in some cases to make you feel worse because sometimes that's exactly what you're going for, right? You want to like work up a big mad or a big sad or whatever it is. But it's just your brain doing a little of the old mental DJ, right? To reinforce your current belief system, whatever that is. It could be, I'm no good. No one would want me, right? Or men are assholes or women are bitches or people are dickwads or whatever it is, right? Or um, I'm just broken, right? Or I, I deserve whatever they did, insert, you know, heinous, abusive thing. Or here's another one. They know I'm too good for them. That's why they sabotaged everything. Hmm. Yeah. The thing is, we can masturbate. We can figure out why, justify anything. And it's not going to do us one lick of good if we don't actually stop the bad stuff from happening, increase the good stuff in our lives, and become happier, more well-adjusted people. And that's where boundaries come in. Because when we set our boundaries, when we determine not only what we don't want in our lives, but what boundaries are we going to put around the things that we do want in order to protect those things, right? Then, then we know what we need, not just to survive, but to thrive in our relationships. And anything that is not those things, it doesn't matter why, right? It matters that they are not those things. They do not fit into our world, whether they are well-intentioned or malevolent, right? And that is why I am thrilled that you are here with me today and that you are choosing to take this journey. And this is the first day of the next eight weeks of your life and the opportunity to truly change your life and how you live it and how you love and how you um, find success and communicate in relationships. And I'm so, so thankful to have you here and I'm thrilled to be a part of this with you. So let's get started.